on the subject of queries, I guess I might as well teach you guys. Well, I guess I might as well go over a few things before I continue with these tutorials. First of all, whenever you make a query or command and your results are not in the same order as mine, don't worry. It doesn't mean it's broken or it doesn't mean you know yours is messing up or mine is messing up. These aren't sorted or they aren't filtered or anything. I'm going to be teaching you guys about filtering and sorting your results later on. But for now, just make sure that as long as you get the results of cities from the right table, then everything's good to go. Another thing is whenever you run your queries, you can run multiple queries or commands at a time. For example, you can select um, city from customers and you can also run another command at the same time. For example, um, select ID from customers. ID. Now take note that whenever you run multiple queries at the same time then they must have a semicolon at the end whenever you just run one the semicolon is optional but whenever you run multiple queries like this then as you can see it must have a semicolon at the end of each one so I just want to point that out and also whenever you're working in the command line then you don't have the option of with one query in PHP my admin the semicolon is optional but if you're um, watching these tutorials for school and you're running these in the command line then please make sure that you have the semicolon because the command line is very picky and needs that semicolon at the end another thing is that in I probably shouldn't even tell you this to be honest but I'm gonna because I just want to teach you guys everything you know how I said that by standard SQL is capitalized and everything else is lowercase. Well, that's the standard, but it isn't 100% necessary. SQL is not case sensitive. You can run something like this. Select city from customers, and you can go ahead and run this query, and it's going to run just fine. However, it's not standard. It's really hard to read when you do that. And if you do this for a company, you will literally get fired if you do this. That's how much people hate it. So please, even though you can do it, please, I'm begging you, don't. Like I said, I probably shouldn't have even told you guys about that. Now, the last little rule I want to talk about is this. White space and multiple lines are ignores. For example, whenever I run a query like select city from from customers, wow, really messed that up. Customer, okay. Take a deep breath. Customers like that. Let me just go ahead and copy this real quick. I can run it and it's going to run just fine. However, I can also run it with a bunch of white space in between. And white space are just characters pretty much spaces that don't do anything. I can go ahead and run this and it's going to run just fine. And last but not least, I can go ahead and even put a bunch of lines in between here. Go ahead and run it and it will run just fine. So the reason that they made it set up, they set up the language to do this was for readability purposes. Say you wanted to only write one MySQL keyword per line. Well, you can go ahead and write it like that and it's fine. It doesn't affect the results at all it's just for your purposes whatever you think is the best basically whenever you're working for a company whatever your boss says that's what you got to go ahead and do but if you're working on a website your own just whatever you think is the easiest to read then do it so white spaces and line breaks are totally ignored they don't have any effect on the results so that is all you get for this tutorial. I know a lot of information, but in the next tutorial, what we have to do is we need to learn about more commands other than show and select. So um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.